Hello everyone, Enrique here from The Machine Must Work. Today we're gonna take a quick look at Text Replacer for Premiere Pro. So we're gonna start with a short demo and then we're gonna check the options available. If I jump out here and show you my timeline, I have this sequence with four templates created in After Effects. I can quickly go in, hit export, give it a name, save it. It's exporting the text. It's gonna open the spreadsheet for me with the new text exported already here, original text. I can go into my translation that I previously did or receive it from the client. Paste it in there, save it, go back to the extension, go into the import tab, select that spreadsheet, choose which columns I want to use. So I'm gonna go with Portuguese, Spanish and German, hit import. And you see that in a few seconds you get three new sequences with all the new text imported. Super simple, super easy. And you get a report file showing that everything went okay. So I'm gonna close that now. I'm gonna delete this because we're gonna do it again and I'm gonna go show you all the options that we have available. If we go back in here, back to the export tab, we start with the first one in the export tab relating to the properties. Properties, if I go out, and I go into my effects here. I can show you that these are the properties that are exported from After Effects. And sometimes you have empty properties and you can just ignore those. So you can use that option for that. In the optional columns, these are columns that are added to your spreadsheet when you're exporting. If you wanna share that information with the client or whoever is creating the other version of the text, you can add that. So I could, for example, add the sequence and the track name as their own columns, and then you have that information, the clip and the property. These are all the names. With that, you could hit export. Another option you have relating to the export tab is if you go into your preferences, you have here the after export preferences, and you can choose to open or not the spreadsheet right away after it's exported. So if you leave it off, it won't launch your default spreadsheet viewer. So this is it for the export tab, super simple. If we go into the import tab, in the import tab you can select the spreadsheet like we did in the demo. Then here you have the columns available that you can import from once you selected that spreadsheet. And you have the import button, super simple, super straightforward. In the preferences here, we have also an after import option and you can choose to create or not that status report file that I showed you. And you can also choose to open or not automatically that file. So if you want, you just create it, but don't open it. The last option is regarding the notifications. And here you can just choose how much notifications you're getting. We don't have many notifications in this extension in particular. So I think you'll be fine with the default setting here. So just to show you if some of the settings change it, I'm going to leave open spreadsheet off, leave create status report file on, and I'm going to choose to leave it off for opening that file afterwards. So I could go into the export tab. Let's jump out. Go into the project, here I have my sequence. I'm gonna export with these columns so you know all the columns available. I'm gonna hit export. I can save it on top of that same file if I want to, or I could create a new version. Let's go with a new version, Austrian Summer version two. And you see that it saved it, but it didn't open it. If I go to my spreadsheet folder, I have it here, version two, I can open it. And you see that this has more information now. It has the ID. This is a column that you cannot modify. You should leave it and touch it. Then you have the sequence name, the track, the clip, and the property. These are all informational columns. So you won't need to change it and you should not change it. And in the original text, this is your reference text that your client or your producer can use to change the text. If I go back to my translation, we could quickly copy it and paste it here. We can save it. And then if we go back to Premiere, when we are in the import tab, we can now select that spreadsheet version two, import it. You see that I have the same columns here, Portuguese, Spanish, and German. If I wanted, I could even re-import the original text into a new sequence. So let's do that, why not? And I can hit import. Once I hit import, those four new sequences are gonna be created for us with the changed text. And you get a notification that the status report file was created. If you click this notification, it opens it up for you. In here, you can see that if you get this check mark, you're good, everything went well with the import. If you have a warning sign in here, it's because something went wrong. 
as you can see, all the text was imported just fine. So you have these new sequences all imported, all ready to export for you. That's it for Text Replacer for Premiere Pro. We hope it saves you time, the same way it's saving time for us, and that's why we created it. If you'd like to try, go to ascripts.com, download it there. The trial is fully functional for 10 days. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.